Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everyone, it's Terry Crews and Son of Beast. Welcome back to the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. As you already have watched the NBA Playoffs, thank you so much for your patience. And if you hope you enjoyed this part of the game, in between of the first two of the Sixers and the Celtics and the other team of the Bucks and the Heat. But now we're ready to get this one back in for another new matchup. And now it's a win or a go home for a Golden Knights of Vegas. And they're ready to face off against the Edmonton Oilers. Connor McDavid showing it off. They're wanting to bring their team into the next round if they win. To face against the Canucks on a Canadian matchup since season one. This happened to be the great place in the between of the Flames versus the Edmonton Oilers, the Battle of Alberta. But this time we're about to find out if they can win this one again. Will the Oilers swipe out the Golden Knights? Or will the Golden Knights bring the game back in to end their run and head back to Edmonton for Game 7? Now, the next commentary I have is Test 2, and he's also along with Nickel. They're back again, and the center ice I have it across here is there. So yeah, that's definitely it right now. So, hope everybody's enjoying this part of the game. Last game is on, and then, for tomorrow or tonight of the game, we'll send you on the other side for the start of the NBA second round as we see the first matchup in. Nuggets facing on against the Dallas Mavericks for the first game before the next part of the game of the New York Rangers battling against the Tampa Bay Lightning on the other side of the Garden. So that being said, let's get into the fight and off to work we go. Here we go, folks. This is it. Win or go home for Vegas. Off to start. Game six at T-Mobile Arena. I'm Tex Tube and I'm here with Nickel and Fan at the center ice. Ready for game six. This is a do or die. For the Golden Knights, starting off for the goaltenders is Aiden Hill. He will have his first save of the night to start off in Vegas. On a start, here's a look in between of McDavid and Petrangelo as Ben has more. McDavid's been really well to take his wheels. The better percentage of his offense is playing a lot of great percentage to go fast on the break. Petrangelo looks good at doing a defensive effort. He made this one a lot harder and challenging. That's why his shutdown has been playing for one of his better techniques. Amazing offensive skills and defensive skills, it turns to be a little more of a difficult one and have that one bound down. I'll try to find out if the Oilers or the Vegas Golden Knights have it. First goal comes in for Connor McDavid. Starting off his better goal, McDavid with the last game as they're on the board 1-0. Looks like the captain starts early in the first period. You now know what happens now because that puts a fucking string and you know this was really good. Try to get that one over passing the goaltender and that wasn't really hard enough to get some through. Golden Knights trying to find an answer. Look, the start puts an early lead for the Oilers 1 0. Nurse will have it again to McDavid. Tries to pull it up and bounce. Which Angela now finds Martinez. Now, finding the pass over. Here's Cece. Toward the right wing. Suits saved by Gill. With under 19 minutes remaining in the first period, looking for go ahead goals in between the Golden Knights. And now they're ready for an air face off. And off again with the wing. Here's Fedor. Fedor bringing the Gilbert again to Carlson. Carlson, Yamark's got that puck, take it away. Oh, pulls it out of here and says, no, no, you won't take it from me. That's the biggest on a hard collision. That offensive drive is going to put them for the worst. Puts him down now. Now McNabb will have it again to Fedor. Now finds Brisson. 
We sign. Pass is broken up. Still rolling on the buck play. Again to McNabb. Again to Peter. Roll around back to Brisson. Great play for the uh, Almedio. Again for the Golden Knights. But now Nugent Hopkins has it over. Taking his time, looking for open room. He scores! Ryan Nugent Hopkins has another goal to take. You know the question happens because Ryan Nugent Hopkins is just a snipe. That must have been saying this is all unclearable, trying to pass the defender. And this one got him tricked. Because that defender was really up and forward in front of him, he didn't really think he was going to let it happen. Because that one passed right by him. And that caught him on the eye side of his throat. Now we're waiting for Stephenson as McNabb will have it. Right passing Stephenson. That's blocked. That clone finds Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl lost the puck as McNabb gives it again to Barbashev. Dreisaitl trying to get it out. And Barbashev has it. Pass broken up on the play, now finds Hyman. Hyman now finds Ekholm. Ekholm to McDavid. Fedor with the puck now finds Barbashev. Can't hold on with the puck and now he finds Hyman. Hyman trying to look over. McDavid shot! Two times stopped by Gill. Under 17 minutes remaining in the first period, still looking for a comfortable leadoff score to get back in. Now they're ready to do it on faceoff. Two O's to score. The win puts up by Rue and Bertangelo with the puck now in the other way. Kolsar with the puck. Toward the wing. Can't hold on with that. A Cleoy with the puck. Two on one opportunity. Pulls it again to Bouchard. Shoots. Sub it up. He scores. For Joe. Three of O. For the Edmonton Oilers. Yeah, this is what they can't let that happen for. Warren for Chow, he was wide open already. He made this one an early lead, but that's a great look. That communication puts it in there, and that pass went right by it. A little bit of slow start here in the first period. 3 0 to score for Edmonton. The win will put up for Bertrangelo. Trying to put it in. Nurse takes the puck away and now finds McLeod. For Joe with the puck. Slides it across. Now that's a pass save put up by Gill. Here's Petrangelo now finding Kolzar. Kolzar gets to Connor. Battling for loose puck, trying to keep it out of the zone. Connor back to Rue. Rue back to Martinez again to Petrangelo. Kolzar shot. Oh, the rebound for it out of here by Skinner. For a job with the puck. Now finds Barry. Looks again at McCoy. Buff saved by Gill. With a new backup line change for the goaltender, it will be it will be Thompson with a replacement if another goal puts in. Well, you have to go with the, a better look of it. You know, that offense not going to let this one stay out because that one's going to put a big inbound. They are not letting this one score in. They've got to look for some open look for the room. If they don't have anybody, then they don't have a good look at the open look. Rooming out, they need to find some more room. McDavid on the two-on-one fast break now finds Rysaddle. Shea Fedor back again to Carlson. Vegas back into the Oilers territory. Marcus shoots. Skinner denies his shot. Under 15 minutes remaining in the first period. They just had to go with another different look. I mean, they had to go with another certain uh, on the driving angle. This needs to have a technique in before it goes too late. Now the win for McDavid is he finds over the nurse. Nurse finds Cece. Cece with the ball. Flying the shot. Big save by Gill. McDavid back to dry side. Finds over nurse. Shoots wide. Blocked up. Dreisaitl back to McDavid, scores! Great pass by Dreisaitl as McDavid gets his two goals in the game. Now that take the tank feed puts up for Dreisaitl, finding an open room for, for you know, the call. McDavid, that's an excellent first assist to put in there. And that pass must have go in there. Better look at this technique shit. 
This office got him pretty well enough for the oil to pick it up. Yeah, that's right, because Leon Dreisaitl, he's making that on a grip, take the tape block. Better offense trying to get them off, out of sight. They need to make sure they have a lot of rooms to take in here. They need to make sure they have that one back the other way. If they don't have the right to encourage them to go in, that makes me that Leon Dreisaitl has to put it in here for a better run of his position. He loves that good take to take feed call. He's got to make sure he has that one all set up there. Marginal finds White Cloud. One on one opportunity. Saved off by Skinner. Brisson battling for the loose puck. And now Bouchard will have it. In the wing. Finding a technique over the rear. Mid it is. And now this will be a replacement for the goaltender of the Knights as Thompson's on the ice with his first save. As for Aiden Hill, this one's a little bit tough and dramatically affected for him. This didn't really happen at all. Whatever this comes in, Canadian teams, they really are forgetting things. They just did not let me handle that one to go with the save. It's too hard to work for, but sometimes they get for gear. Yeah, I know that it didn't really help for it at all, but they did not have anybody to leave it open. I have no other choice of what goes in there, but that is what Petrangelo is really trying to let Aiden Hill do his run. That better to keep to be a lot of careful force out there. And it looks like Connor McDavid's looking for three three goals in the game to get a hat trick at Vegas. This needs to be having a little bit of a time, time constipation to have that one in there. Hopefully there's more room to get there through. Step is finds for Chandler's shot. Save rebound! Oh, and out the goal goes and went right toward the wall. Full pressure on Vegas. Martinez shoot! Skinner makes a save. And they're back again, looking for more room. CC trying to get back in the puck, and now it's over for the Vegas Golden Knights as Dry Silas back the air away. Big stop by Thompson. Now, a quick look here for Aiden Hill. His better professional goaltender was happened to be with one of the first. He was first selected to the Arizona Coyotes for the 76 overall draft pick in 2015. And then he made his way toward with the San Jose Sharks in the second part of the season of the night after Coyotes made an end. And then the last part of the year, Aiden Hill brought their team with the win of the Stanley Cup in 2023. That was last year's postseason. It happened to be in there from season number two. But this Real season happened to be a first time ever for the Golden Knights win in the championship. Yes, it's always got to mention now. They made this one a great look. I love that Aiden Hill does all of it. But his regional team, he's Canadian. That's what happens is this play for Canada, and that's what he is. His form will make that um, player work. That one happened to be all their time. Getting it quick, quick. Hey, oh, almost went tipped it in, and White Cloud tried to stay out. You know that offensive rebound is not going to let him pick it up? Because that doesn't really mention to me anybody idea. He scores! First goal for Brisson! Now it's a team at first goal. Now brought up in game six. What a fire perfection. Brisson just made that one to pass Skinner. And that one presses in. Look at the play in he's putting in. He had that one sling in, and then that slingshot just right into the net and got that point. That was a quick down the main. After Carlson with his points, they now are on the board, 4-1 to score. Now here's a win for Martinez, and now here's White Cloud. For the backhand look, saved by Skinner. He's going to hold that puck with just only 10.48 to go. Now here's another takeover here. Connor McDavid, also a Canadian professional ice hockey player. And he's the captain. With the better play of it, he has been selected on his current wares of 97. His better technique has been played all year long, since 2015. It was not the way he was doing it, because that is where it starts things off, his better look 
He's playing his childhood playing hockey against the older children. But then his father, Mick David, has won four Ontario Minor Hockey Association championships with the York Simcoe Express. And then it was going into Toronto by a 2011 season with the Marlboros of the Greater Toronto Hockey League. And as of right at the moment, McDavid was named GTHL Player of the Year and the winner of the Team Tim Adams Memorial Trophy. Expected to say now that that's what's legendary he's been playing for. The kids loved him. They really loved playing him with the hockey for most of the times. He's better as well as making a comeback right now. But his future mind, he's now into it in the league, and he's just showing him what he has done. Most of the games come in for life. And a pass off to Martinez. The Golden Knights are in the Oilers' territory. Here's where the soul shot. Nothing to get there by. A skater makes a stop save. Easy to make this call right now. I mean, this one's almost going to be tipping in too soon. The wraparound. And it's a tip in. That's Perry. And that point in the stand up 5 1. Oh boy, you can hear what the fans are crowding right now. It said, no more Canadian teams. Remember that one? And this is what the deflection made. That's what's Perry over there. After being tied up in a notch, he tried to have that block attempt. But that did not help. That one hit off the side underneath the shoulder, and then this one hit off right toward the, the hockey stick, and they brought it back in. You can see that one coming now as Corey Perry has his point. Five ones to score. Edmonton destroying their team in the first period in a shock. Now the win puts in for Desharnias. Desharnias with the puck, looks over. Martinez gives again to Wu. Wu trying to watch him out, he finds Martinez. Toward the middle finding Kosar. Kosar can't hold on, and the puck will leave the zone. Now this will be an icing on Edmonton. 9-0 left to remain in the first period, past the midway mark of the period. And now they're ready for another face-off. For the win of McDavid, here's Kulak and back to Deshardius. Toward the right wing, trying to find some more room. And he scores again! He has his first goal, beating off the goaltender. Wow, that's definitely what the snipe is. He was all around just trying to get that being over by Thompson that quick. When that one goes into the offense, you can just try to look for Deshaun and see how that one with his first goal. Wrap it across, give it a go. He finally has his first goal in the NHL postseason. Now their extension, five. Stephenson trying to bring the team back in there as they trail by five. Here's immediate to Stephenson, and a glove saved by Skinner. He now has it over with another row save here with just 8.40 left to go. Now ready for the faceoff. And here's the win as Kulak will have it. On his way down finds Hyman. 8.30 left to go in the first, first period. Stop made by Thompson. 8.24 left to go in the first period. Still a lot of time to get there from, from two periods to one. And now they're off to do an iron face-off. Both teams have a little time on attack to get there. Now the win puts up as Barbashev gives again to Petrangelo. Off down to Martinez again to Amedio. Amedio blocked that shot. That was Nurse that blocked the shot and now it's Kane with the buck. Pucking in, it's with eight minutes to go in the first. Now Patrick Kane, Evander Kane will have that puck. He went down ever and Stephenson trying to hold it across. Stephenson looks his way across. That shot's blocked by Kane. Well, Kane really had that one in there. Try to watch out for the face already. Don't get pearly white all over it. <laughs> no, he would never want really to that. And a save puts up by Thompson. Barbashev now finds Stephenson. Stephenson trying to work his way across, now finds a video. Rolls around. Whoa! Almost went in there. That one's all stayed out. Video now finds Machangelo. 
Over now to McNabb. Shoots. That's saved by Skinner. Under seven minutes remaining in the first period. Still trying to get a goal here for the Vegas Golden Knights to get back down by four. Now they're ready for another faceoff. 6-1. They trail by five. Vegas wins the faceoff. Blocker stop made by Skinner. Pulls it across. And here's a chance for Peter. McNabb shoots. Way wide. We sign battling for the puck chain. And Perry will now have it again to Ekholm. Trying to play it across. Dip dumps the puck out. And now Theodore will have it. You know, they're really are playing it easier right now. I mean, this is what they've done. Oilers are trying to make their way through the cutting bound. They have to make sure they have that one with a close range. This better performance effort cannot be a switch. It doesn't mean that they have it all ranged down. They've got to make some more room to clear it out. Fuchel with the puck now finds Ekholm. Ekholm racing it into Bouchard. Shot saved off by Thompson. Carlson trying to answer it back with 5.45 left to go and Peter again to mark itself. Here's a chance now in the center. Martin Salt turn away. Cheeto shoots he scores. Great deflection in there. And Cheeto bring her team back down by four. Now that's what happens. You know Martin Salt gives it over to Cheeto. Back quickly puts it in there. And that was a big look. They put up a lift off. And it just went right towards in the net. That is a crazy percentage here. Their offense getting it done. But not for long. They are still too early. It looks like the Golden Knights wants to have that revenge back. Shea Theodore with his ninth goal in the playoffs. 6 2 to score with near a 5 30 mark and near a 5 minutes. Rue wins the faceoff as now McNabb will have it. He now has it across and Desharnas with the puck. And Colser picks up puck steal. Shoots one, save off by Skinner. And now here's McDavid. Looking for three this time. For around. Thompson put it too close to the goalpost. Almost could have knocked down too quickly. Oh, here's the catch. Nobody wants to get hurt by the goaltender, and they are not going to like that call. You know, McDavid just trying to make that one wheels, make the fast chain, and he wants his hat trick very badly. Hasn't scored yet or in between of his own. Only Yonmark and, of course, Hyman had two goals in the hat trick, and this is what they always do. Make that percentage in there and get it done straight. And will saved by Skinner with 427 left to go in the first period. Now they're off to do it again. Stephenson will win the face off and now he finds again to Martinez. Shots blocked. Here's again to Barbashev. Pulls it back to Amidio. For Changulo. Shoots one. It's blocked up by Nugent Hopkins. The Edmonton Oilers are back into the Vegas zone. Takes a little spill here, and now back to Pochangelo. Four minutes left to remain in the first period, and he now finds Emidio. Emidio trying to race it into the corner. Stephenson shoots, it's blocked up by Desharnius. Nugent Hopkins pushes across and says, who's your boss now? Pochangelo with the puck now, and having it over again on Emidio. You know, that hit is a good, a good clean effort. It, it almost has to be a, almost a roughing call. Don't make that one too hard on them. Oh, what a stop by Skinner. You know, easy does it, because that's what Skinner was making it in there. He got it across in no time. And a big stop here on the chain by Thompson as Yamark's in cover now. Yamark finds again the nurse. And this is the puck range of only three minutes in the first period. But Changela now finds Martinez. Martinez right toward the left wing. Medio trying to buy a shot, but it's McCloy. McCloy again to Bernard Perry. After a big contact kick, here's Martinez to Theodore and Marge so will have it. Big on a hit play. Whoa, I think Marge so hurt. Uh oh, not good at all. I mean, I think he's going to have to go in the bench. I think something's going on with him. Martinez was blocked shot. Free sign again to Fedor. Blocked again. Shots and saved up by Skinner. Oh boy, they're trying to have the answer in there. Free sign. And this one stayed out as CC will have it. 
With only two minutes left to remain in the first period is Fogel. Half the race to cross finding Nurse. Nurse finds Cece. In the center, Fogel. Lost the puck is for Shea Peter. We'll have it again back to Prisan. Prisan trying to kick the puck out, but Hyman has it over now, finding Dreisaitl. A big hit, going back the airways roof. And McNabb's got it again to feed her. Move around the puck in. Cece grabs that puck. The Oilers are back in the offensive zone, picking up the motion run. Rue lost the puck. With one minute left, here's another look. And denied by Thompson. Hyman, passing off to McDavid, denied. Cotter back the airway, trying to look for an open room. Cece grabs that puck aboard and now find Hyman. Hey, you grabs that puck. And here's White Cloud. Over now to Kosar. Kosar moves it across. Shoots one. Poked it out. Epic save. Poked it again by Skinner. And Hey, you takes the puck away and now finds White Cloud. White Cloud will be able to cruise. Saved by Skinner. 6.8 seconds left in the first period. Let's go back and watch it again. I think that big hit must have been a hard one for Jonathan Marchand. So he had a little bruise. He has to rush back to the bench right now. He says, I got to get off this ice. Here we go down the end of the first period. 6 2 to score for Edmonton. Now the win will put up for the Oilers is at home. We'll clear it out in the Vegas zone, and Holloway will end it. So far, the shocking early start for Oilers, but not for long, as the team of Vegas are trying to answer their way in. They trail by four. We'll get to the second period after this. We're off and set, ready for the second period. Glad you have us back. We're ready to go. And right now, we have a great moment. McDavid's team up and ahead, and Vegas are trying to answer their way in there. It's a hard part right now, but I'll hand it over to you, Nicole, of how they did. Well, they're really attacking right now. I mean, the Oilers are in a full pressure zone. They're trying to, like, take them out of here. They really have nowhere else to go. They have to make sure that they have that one cleared out. And this is not a really good sign. They're trying to make this one a lot harder and challenging. They have a great moment, and they are pushing P. Like, they're on pursuit, and they're chasing, just like a getaway. Now you just have to make them look easier enough, and then you got it all covered in there. That's why with the Vegas Golden Knights, they need to try something else and do it quickly. And it's blocked up as Nurse will have it. Nurse battle along for the loose puck. Marge herself back on ice, and now back to Pachangelo. A deflection don't carry it in. Evander King into the wing. Fans still disliking Evander King at the go-ahead time. Martinez with the puck back the air away. Shoots and save off by Skinner. 18.50 left to go in the second period. They're trying to pull it back down by three. Now the Golden Knights and the Oilers are ready to do it our face off. And the way we'll play it up. That's saved up by Skinner. Evander came with the puck. Martinez rolls it over now finding Stephenson. Stephenson trying to get it right around him. CC trying to battle for the loose puck. And Kane comes out. Going in, finding Nugent Hopkins. Oh, here comes a one-on-one -on -one pressure. Oh, and it's Thompson with the, the save on the play. That's what's too close. I was really seeing that that was a little too hard. But I think Nugent Hopkins should have got two goals, just like Ronald McDavid does. I mean, he wants to race out of here. He just... Beat it over the goaltender. He wants a one-on-one -on -one competition, but that didn't really change the opinion. A solid takedown for Bertangelo as Nurse has it. 17.30 left to go as he passed to McCoy. And it's been knocked out. Poked it out of here by Thompson as Amidia will have its own puck recovery. Stephenson shoots. Skinner denies the shot. 17-16 left to go in the second period. Trying to find an open look to make another new one clean. 
And now we're off to do another face-off. And the way we'll put it up for the Vegas. McDab shoots, and it's off the pad again by Skinner. Trying to put it in on the big rebound. Stop that. McLeod with the puck. Vegas trying to put it on defense. Verdarian in the defense is excellent. Trying to put it up, and Thompson makes a save. Feeder trying to hold on to it now. Spins across, finds McNabb. McNabb trying to work his way across inside the zone. And he scores. McNabb with two goals. Now they're back down by three. Well, there's an answer back down. Wait to McNabb. I got it all covered in there. Go for it ahead. You can see what happened to McNabb. And that was really like a good look off thing. And that play was just a thousand puck in the net. That turned like it's a crazy look. That open angle is just a way that you play for. As the Golden Knights are trailing by three, it's a 6-3 game, Edmonton. The win will put up for McDavid as Bouchard will have it again to McDavid. McDavid finds dry side on. Shoots and blocks saved by Thompson. Now a chance ready for an air face off. And the way we'll put it up here for the Vegas Golden Knights, it's Fedor, we'll have it again, back to Marchesal. And we'll fire that puck out of here. And Mitzin back the air away as that call will give off to Hyman. Hyman wants to give off to McDavid. Oh, that broken play must have been messed up already. Now Ekholm will have it again to Bouchard. Bouchard's off to the race. McDavid for three. And not this time, Thompson said. Theodore makes that one going back the other way again to Marjita. Carlson tries to put it into the end, end of the zone. Side to side step. McNabb for three. No, Skinner makes a save. 15, 22 left to go in the second period. If you're looking for your next game in, the next matchup will be the NBA playoffs to get back into work. And so right now, we do have another one for you. It's all for everything for the first game that's happening here for the Western Conference as the Denver Nuggets face on against the Dallas Mavericks in Mile High, ready for their first game to have it all. Then following along with the next game, we go right into Game 7 as the Rangers take on against the Lightning. The winner of that game will be moving on to face against the Carolina Hurricanes. And the winner will put it up. Oh, wow, what a wild down he is. Hit the goal post. Shoots. Save off by Skinner. And Cece will have that puck in raining out. And now Dry Sidle will bring it out. Toward the center is Hyman. Great save here by Thompson. Here's Cece. Over in the center. Traffic neutralized and jam. And Stephenson will have it back into the Oilers zone. On the backhand. Try to attempt it, but it's stopped again by Skinner. Oh, Perry's all alone. Big save. What an excellent effort for Thompson with 14.09 to go. All right, I think Pachangelo got a little big kid. He made a little whipped out there. And that must have been a hit, just like Marcus so. Remember that one? But this is not turning to be a little okay for Pachangelo. Well, he's ready to head into the battle room. Still a lot of time left in this period. Six threes to score for Edmonton Oilers. Now the win will put up for Golden Knights as now Theodore will have it. Off again, the pass off to Root. Rue went down. Eckholm and Rue will have that puck. Valley for the take. Fuchel lost the puck. And here's Rue. Fires it. Rebound put in by Skinner. Stopped. Luchar with the puck now finds Fuchel. Martinez grabs that puck and now Connor will have it. For the right wing will fire around the net. And Ekholm will have it. The pass off to McCloy. McLeod with the puck. 
Turn away. Shoot! Save! Barry! Oh, the way that I was being knocked out by, by uh, Thompson. Yeah, there you go. That's what I called for. Yep, not hill. Pulsar shoots. Locked up. Pulsar tries again. The rebound won't take it in. Skinner stops the bottom of the building. 12, 20, 42 left to go in the second period. Officials are getting set, ready for the face-off. 6-3 is the score. 12-42 to go. And now the win will put it up as White Cloud will have it. Moves around his own. This one stayed out of here. Rissan's got that puck. Near the board. Nugent Hopkins. Ekholm's got it. Ekholm give again to Kane. Kane, battling it in. That's how you will have that puck in. Now back to Carlson. Here's Brisson. Off to White Cloud. White Cloud keeps the Carlson. Shoots. Save off by Skinner. Gotta make that one a little bit clean. And this is not where it's gonna be turning in there. If Skinner would have a chance here. We do have an update right now for Alex Petrangelo as I send it over to Ben. Ben? Alright guys, thank you so much. I say no, the better chance of this one doesn't happen. He scores! Two goals for Brisson, and they're now back down by two. Well, what do you know? Brisson, rebound it, and take it in. That's what happens with that goal. You can't mess this one up. That one just beats over by scared back. And that one races in right towards it from the line. That's when you start things off and get a little bit quick off. They are now back down by two as they give it off to Fan for an update. All right, thank you so much. But, um, well, like I said before, Alex Petrangelo, he's in the uh, he's in the medical attention room, and he has been talking to one of his uh, medical staffs that he has been really taking all of his better responses. He won't be missing out for the uh, last part of the game in the third period, but we'll hope to find out if there's another way that we'll try to leave off with Petrangelo if the team wins or they will be out of the postseason. We'll see how this one comes in, if they have another chance in. Back to you. Mark yourself. Saved off by Skinner. 11-14 left to go in the second period. Still a 6-4 game. And now the way, now the faceoff is coming in right now. 11-13 left to go. Now the win. Martinez, oh, blocked that shot. What an excellent effort. Leon Dreisaitl. Back to Fedor. He now rolls it over again to Amedio. Martinez with the puck, now finding it over. To look for the pass, finding it back again to Amedio. Amedio to the right wing. Shoots one. Almost took it in, but this one's going to be coming back down by one as Hyman tries to get that puck out of here. Well, that quick reaction is almost going to take a turn for the worse. Nobody would have to offend it, and they need to have this in a lot of timing. They need to have some patience here. They have nowhere to go. Farber said, let's skate by Skinner. 10-17 left to go in the second period, nearing the midway mark. Now we're off to do this one again, ready for the faceoff. And the way we'll put up for Vegas. Peter shot. He scores. Big sinker. Back down by one. Wow. I mean, wow. What do you know about the heat sinker? You put it in for Shane Peter, and this is like a rip rocket through. It went downward, but that just went right through the legs. How can that be a thing right now? That one's going to be a quick goal that you really spent. Well, Shane Fedor just made it a little bit of aggressive, and he wants to bring their team to tie this game, but I have no confidence with the feeling of it. They have been playing it all day long. Hopefully this one will take over for some time, and we'll find out if Shane Fedor can have another goal to take in for three. Back to you. As uh, Sevenson will win the faceoff, and here's Barbashev passing the midway mark in the period. Barbashev shoots off the mask and it goes back again to Cece. Really, just gonna have to like put a paint on the glass already, right on the face. I mean, that's gonna hurt. 
Oh, in the middle, too close to call. Martinez will have it in. Back to Fedor. Fedor back to Barbashev. Barbashev right toward the wing. Looks again to Stephenson. Shoot the scores! We are tied! Now this is what Chandler Stephenson does. Has to get that quick rocket head. He's got to make sure he's all settled in. When he has his time, that is going to take in there the point that goaltender run away. That one's going to take over, and now he has that one going in. Got a great goal. Golden Knights and Oilers are tied up by six. After a first period comes to a shot, they're now going to come back in there to make a close game. And the win will put up for Vegas Golden Knights as White Cloud will have it. Here's Marjitso. For the lead, Carlson just got denied up by Nurse. Here's Young Mark. Hayden hey, with the puck, now find again to Brisson. Carlson, try to pull it out. And Cece trying to get the ball back in. Ballet in between a two to two. Brisson, 8.43 left to go in the second period. He's trying to get that out of here. Nurse, can't hold on with the puck. Carlson's blocked the shot. Nurse trying to get over to 8.30 left to go in the second period. Nugent Hopkins, right down towards the center. Here's Kane, save off by Thompson. By Cloud finds Rue. Oh, big kick out there, big contact right by the Oilers defender. Not with so good, man. I don't know what they could do. I mean, they were just trying to like hit him off, for sure. Blocker shot made by Thompson. The Oilers are back in the offensive zone. White Cloud lost the puck as Cotter will have that rebound and back it over again to the Vegas Golden Knights. Two root. 7.35 left to go. Sabah puts up a Skinner. No rebound here. Bouchard back to Ekholm. Ekholm again to Fugel. Trying to keep the puck out of the zone. And here's Fedor. Fedor trying to get it away across again to Stephenson. Stephenson shoots way wide. Over and out of Stephenson. Here's a shot. Ekholm takes the puck away and now Perry will have it with under seven minutes to go. Perry trying to look over. Another big save by Hill. Just really need to make sure you have that one sticking out. That one's going to be a little tricky to get there. Try side of behind the net. Perry up. Not a big timing here. McLeod with the buck with 6.30 to go. Double man's honor. But this one stopped again by Thompson. Seven to try to deliver it off to avoid the tackle. On the side blitz on the poke check, body check. And now Barbashev will have it in the right wing. That's broken up the play. On the minute's down. This one stayed out by Skinner. Leon Dreisaitl. Fans are still calling for the booze. And a save puts up by Gil, by Thompson. Bula, bring it in! Oh, Thompson! But it's just going to make a no-goal call. Let's have a look. Okay, here's a play. I think this is what happened now. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, he made this one save earlier. Watch what happened now. You're not going to call that one with a goal. They're going to call this one a no-goal. Yeah, you see what happened in the bank? He just had that stop on the puck, and this one should have been a save earlier. But now, they can't. They can't get that goal in there. That denies that call. The fans still alive because the Vegas Golden Knights are still tied up. What an excellent comeback in there. Yeah, I mean, they really hate this call. I mean, if they change it over, that would be a turnover for the worst. That would be an unsuccessful call if the coaches had made a challenge. Carlson finds again the march itself with 5.20 to go in the second period. And now McNabb's trying to get it back to march itself. Brisson with the puck into the wing. Carlson shoots. Big rebound chain. He scores! Three goals in a row. Comes to a hat trick. Back in the lead.
Hey, we saw him. What do you got? That back end makes a shot, and you got a hat trick in there. He never gets made this hat trick, but he left with the Vegas done. They made it in there. The last two, that was Yamar and Ivan with two hat trick goals. But now, in game six, it's all called for Brisson. That's right, Brisson made three goals in this attempt. He had that one with an excellent takeover. He's been excellent to have that one with his backhand work. He's now back in the range. He is trying to keep that one going in for a while. But hopefully that the Knights will try to get back into work. If you're ready to force into game seven, we will love to have that one in all the time. I'll find out if there's another goal at that chance. We're under five minutes left to remain in the second period. Shai Saddle has it and a stop by Thompson. 439 left to go in the second period. Seven to six is your score. Now for the face-off, we are ready to do it again. Now the way we'll play it up for the Vegas Golden Knights is Hague, you will have it again to Denisenko. Denisenko trying to give up to the red shot. Big save here. Morelli back again. Skinner will cover the puck up with 4.18 to go. Always got to note that. You got to cover this one saving in there because there is a little bit of a hazy fire drill. Got to have that one covered in there or someone can take it. Vegas wins the face off. Morelli shoots and saved by Skinner. Frost again at AU shoots. Skinner saved on the inflatable ground. 4.07 left to go in the second. Still a lot of time left in this period. 7 to 6 is the score as the Vegas are making an answer back chain. And now the win puts up for Vegas. Martinez up. Save here by Skinner. CC trying to battle for the puck chain. Keep the puck out of here. Yawan's got it across. Saren Froze will have it over. Racing in. CC takes the puck out of here as Evander King will have it in. Torta Wayne. Shoots. Oh, most made it in there and he's went behind the net. Well, that one made close actually. I mean, that one was no luck. Evander King didn't really think he was going to get this one going right ahead. That one stayed out of it and it's never going to leave it off behind. Get a psycho backhander way up high. Uchara now finds Ekholm. Gives again to Perry. Fires a puck out of here. Three minutes going by in the second period before the end. And the third period will be underway shortly after the break. Barbershop went down already and now with the rebound. Goes off the feed over for three. Skinner denies a shot with 2.42 left to go in the second period. If you're ready for the show, I'm always happy to have you out here because they're ready for the VFDI and MA Sanity Tour. A great show here. If you live in the Vegas and you want to get to LA, you have to make us a good selection in and try to put it back in. It's a great show, but the second half will be the start-off range for the BFDI A12 and a new episode of the Inanimate Sanity Season 2 is back. This will be all the show and you'll be your favorite to meet your contestants back from last season. From this season to last season to make the finish. And this will be all for everybody to have a chain in. You'll find out for sure if there is a great chance that you can see any time. That will be all games here, only on Animation Epic and Jack and Jellyfee. Hope you enjoy the show, folks. Barbershop, off the shot. Oh, I think Skinner was almost going to have to leave off the mark. And it takes it out. Oh, Skinner. Wow, what an unbelievable play. A Skinner denies the shot. Now, you're never going to make this one call. Matt Skinner is putting up a wild save. Two minutes left to remain in the second period. 7 6 to score for Vegas. White Cloud bumps up. Brisson. And no penalty call. CC gets to Perry. Trying to get the team to make it a live game. Perry tries to go with the shot. Big save by Thompson. White Cloud. Big broken on the play. Brutal play. Brisson. For four, no good. 
Skin of the Sunday night, the shot will cover the puck up in under 90 seconds. Officers are getting set ready for the face off. And then we'll put up here for the Vegas Golden Knights. Save on a play by Skinner. Back to Newton Hopkins again to Yamark. Yamark right over into the right wing. Shoots way wide. Here's your Hopkins trying to get back to Kane and over again, trying to find it back to Nurse. Shoots nice catch by Thompson. Just under a minute left in the second period. Great easy enough to, to find a way. I mean, that's what Skinner just realizing that that Kane would have to tie this game, but great effort for Thompson to have that one deny it. And now here's Fido back to Martinez. 50 seconds left in the second period. Over now to March itself. Broke it up to play. Fido up, saved by Skinner. The Oilers are back into the offensive territory, and now to Yamark. Fior, back to Carlson. 25 seconds left in the second period. Moves around, but he's on for four. Blocked the shot by Jacernius. Final seconds in the second period to tie the game. Big pack stop, and it denies that one with the tie game advantage. Fear lifts it up. And that's going to do three goals for Prisad, gets their hat trick and the lead. Be back for the third period after this. We've come down to the third period. 7 6 to score. Let's get in. Here we go. We're about to finish things up right away for the third of the sixth game at Vegas. All right, let's have your take here, Nagel, for the Vegas Golden Knights. And how did they make a comeback? The comeback probably was putting in there very well. All thanks to Prisad, he had three goals in this game. And that was happened to be one of his courtesy to take all the moment. And that is where he's been doing really well. Well, let's find out if the Oilers can have that tying game. We want to see that close game come in. And the power plays on for Vegas. The interference is called on Leon Dreisaitl. He's in the penalty box for two minutes. Ah-ha-ha! Uh, here we go! It's gonna happen now! Vegas ready for power play. The Oilers have their first penalty kill and now the Vegas Golden Knights are ready to take their power play. Now with the win, here's Ekholm. Trying to move around right now as Rue gives again the march itself. Now he finds Cotter. Cotter over to Fedor. Fires a shot! That's up the netting, and it's out of play. Now they're ready to do our face-off. Still short-handed for Connor McDavid's team. Now the way we're playing on. Peter, run yourself to shoot. Then it's saved off by Skinner. Cece trying to battle the cross. Nugent Hopkins trying to get it out. Takes the time to shoot. Blocked up by the two defenders. Nugent Hopkins gives to Nurse. Nurse shot. Deflected off again to Skater. Big save by Thompson. And now Carlson back again to Amedio. 113 left for me in Vegas. Darnell Nurse got that puck into the center. Made the crazy move. And this one saved off again by Thompson. One minute left for the Vegas power play. 18-15 in the third. Shoots it! Save by Skinner. 18-10 left to go in the third period. Looks like they definitely really wanted to make a close game out of it in between. Lots of time left in this period. The score for the Vegas are still up ahead, 7-6. And now for the win, here's a shot of save by Skinner. Who's going to reset it up with just only 18 or 6 to go. Now the puck win, as now Desharnas will have that puck carry. He's now trying to find some more room to get out of the zone. 
and now finds that poem. 35 seconds left to remain in the third. Base foot stopped by Thompson. Up a hand pass, and get back down to Rue again the barber chef, trying to pull it in from the center. Connor can't hold on with that puck. Rue trying to battle across the puck, and Cotter will have it. McCloy give again to Perry. Looks like it's time for him to expire. Blocked by Kigu. The power play's over. Four to the Golden Knights. It's now they're back to full strength. Well, the easier one is taking it over here. The, the better one, the better they have, the power they have, do have a little bit more time to have in there. They're trying to get this one to close that shot in there. But they don't have another chance out there. They've got to make sure they have that one open room to find a clear percentage. You're making this one a lot challenging and a little bit difficulty in between. But they've got to find another room to get there. Connor trying to pull a rebound up there, saved by Skinner. And two times stop with 16.37 to go. Ready for our next face off. Now for the win, here's Echo. Tries to pull around, not finding dry style. Fans still hating it. Here's McDavid. McNabb's got the puck and not finding video. Amidia with the puck, now finding again to Stephenson. Brought the puck up as Evan Bouchard about the dry cycle. Give again to McDavid. McDavid back to Eckholm. Another hit here for Vegas. High man shoots. Not enough to get there as uh, Pat saved off by Thompson. Here's your number take for Stephenson back to Peter. Trying to roll across into the center ice. Over to Video. Shoots. Saved by Skinner. A lot of time left with 15.31 to go. Now the officials are ready to take the ice. Still 7 6 game. Look away, Nugent Hopkins finds Nurse again to Kane with 15 25 to go. Nugent Hopkins shot. They poked it out as now Thompson grabs another save. He's still getting it clean. He got a lot much better to him have. Having with the goaltender, this one uh, without Aiden Hill, that Thompson is putting in a great look at the hustle. He's making a great save out of him, but he can. Carson should save off by Skinner. Nurse finds Kane. Evander Kane with it now. Gilmark save off by Thompson. No rebound for Nugent Hopkins. And he's be the four. He scores! <laughs> No problem. Free side just made a snow gap. He just had that one crossing in there right now, and that's just what happens. When you give it a good look, you make a move around clear, and that scoring an opportunity chance. As for William Carlson with the pass, Emilio with four, four of them as now. Free son has four goals in this game. He is putting it over his limit, and the fans are still loving him. Skinner grabs a save with under 15 minutes remaining in the third. And now they're off to do it again. So a lot of crowd favorite here for Golden Knights. They wanted to bring their win and advance the game to seven. Oh, almost went in there. But Skinner holds on. Just don't have the time to do this now. I mean, Skinner's got to make that one a good save. No worry on that. Skinner got that one with a lot of a better technique in this motion. He's watching in there before Kip, our replacement. I don't know how's he gonna do, but he's like putting it in there for sure. So Skinner gotta take that save in there. And they're still on their feet making some noise. 8 6 to score, still finding a little bit open offense left. Win it up! He went down that hard, and Nurse will have to replace it. Here's Evander King. Shoots one, and almost made it in there to go back down by one. But Thompson saves the day. Now 
Man away, you're doing our face off. Golden Knights have been a better team, still an 8 2 6 game. And after a win, here's Martinez. 15, 15, 13 50 left to remain in the third period. Perry will have to try to give some another up. The better offense signing again to McCloy. Shot saved by Thompson. We're looking at a head coach right now for the Golden Knights. Bruce Cassidy is one of our biggest ones after playing with the coaching with the Boston Bruins. He's now coaching with the Golden Knights and now is a part of him to make a role in 2022. And this is what he just happened to say. We got to our game at times, and so did they. I don't think either team could sit here and say they were dominating the series or truly at their best the whole time. Well, it's just happened now for Bruce Cassidy. Has been really trying to get this one over in game six. They really are working their way off. We have a lot of more room to get there because this is not how it's turning to be. And he scores. They're back down by one as cool off with the first goal in game six. They're just coming back already. Cool off with that goal. And that screen just made I got that one in there. They're just trying to blind that offensive goaltender. They're just trying to like answer back, that's all. With cool off with the goal. The Oilers have the head coach right now, Chris Kornbolch. No ball, just definitely have a lot of this one is taking over him. And it's been a professional Canadian ice hockey player, and he's now a head coach. Who's definitely have been doing it previously with his head coach of the Hartford Wolfpack. And this is what the American Hockey League has done for his last part. When Chris Knobolch, he just had that on a lot of his better or as stable of icing. He tried to help that one out. Even Connor McDavid, also Leon Dreisaitl, there's a lot of great help out there. Con Chris uh, Knobolch, I mean, that's just that. But that one with Cassidy on the other side, that has to be one of his, his better techniques. I'm sure he's going to have to like find another way if he does more. He's starting to try to get the puck out of here and now finding Martinez. His feet are Medio shot! Saved by Skinner. And Medio trying to give it back. Seven six shoots, big rebound to take, and the two pads stopped by Skinner. McLeod with the puck. Their team is out. Trying to look for a tie game, and it's stopped again by Thompson. 12-10 to go in the third period as Barbashev will have it over in the left wing. Locking out. Martinez shoots. Saved by Skinner. Skinner's going to hold up with only under 12 minutes left to remain in the third period. Now they're ready to do one. Still a lot of time left in the period. 8-7 as they're pulling it back down for the Oilers to get an even game. Two speed are. And another big chance here for Skinner. Here's Shrysdale trying to give over again to Hyman. Hyman right toward the right wing. He will fire the puck out. And Shea Theodore battles the puck. And CeCe's got it again to dry side off. Rolls out to Nurse. Shoots. Pat save. No screen protection here for the Edmonton Oilers. CeCe to McDavid. Here's dry side with a back in there. Ernest Winsman closing out the call as Thompson makes another save. Off to Theodore. Connor McDavid with the puck. Rolling in. Martinez with the blocking of the shot and back to Kolsar. Under 11 minutes. Pulls it across. Will he have it? No. Nurse will have it over again. Back to Connor McDavid. Off to Hyman. Hyman. Look this way. CC to shoot. Save by Thompson. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still an 8 7 game. They're trying to even this thing up, but this one's deniable. Not when you all do. That's when you can always try to like keep it up or in the sight of true words. And the win will put it up here for Golden Knights. Martinez battling for the loose puck. Connor McDavid trying to work his way over. Now here's CeCe getting to Nugent Hopkins. CeCe with the puck. Give to get to Nugent Hopkins. Shoots it in. Big one timer stopped by Thompson. Rue trying to hold it in there. Pass the midway mark of the Fury in the third. With the regulation, it pokes out. 
and Nurse will have it. Finds it over again to Nugent Hopkins. Nugent Hopkins trying to roll into the right wing. Shoot save! Thompson with another one. He's trying to get this one in there. I mean, their attackers are like, no, no. They're trying to get this one in there. Better choice. Now finishes the game set, ready for the face-off. Close game in between the Canadian and the American team. But they're trying to look for a win. If the Oilers win, then it will move on to the second round to face against the Vancouver Canucks in the, at Vancouver. Off to another face-off. Still an 8-7 game. Now with the win, Mike Cloud out, poked through the way. Here's Hagu with the puck. Hagu off to Brisson, again to Carlson. Carlson battling away across, and CC will have it again to Kane. Kane takes a swipe hit. Hagu with the puck with under nine minutes. The Knights are in the Oilers territory. Now that Benton Oilers will bring Dry Saddle back on the ice. Tries to get away with him. Hey, you got that box steal. And White Cloud will have it again to Carlson. Boonchar with the puck. Makes his way in. Trying to battle for the loose puck. Shot save. What an excellent take for Thompson. Now Vasquez keeps on fighting him right now. Thompson's really trying to work his way through, trying to get it done. Leon Dreisaitl has a tape-to-tape -tape zone ability. He has that with all imperfectionary if he's trying to look for some pass. The last one put in for Connor McDavid. But hopefully, we'll find out if he does more what he has. Shane Feeder with the puck. Shoots it and saved by Skinner. Oh, I don't know what he's going to do. I think he was going to try to pressure on Skinner, but he tried to back it off. You know, easy one to say is now, a lot of big comebacks, they really are making this one a lot easy challenging, but that hard one can't be left alone. And here's Hyman. Hyman right toward the right wing. You went down with a big hit. Fedor now finds Brisson. Brisson losing that puck range. And now Carlson will have it over on the other side of it. Give it again. And a pass broken up by Perry. Should take? Oh, almost. But Thompson makes the save with only 7.23 to go. Easy one to say now because if Thompson just almost made that goal, he almost lost his balance. But that one made a great save on his better performance ever. Just had that one in there looking good. And Fish is getting set, ready for the face-off. Conor McDavid's team still trailing. It's just 8-7 still. McNabb now will have it again. Feeder with popping down to 7 minutes to go. Big hit at home with the puck steal. Lose that puck in sight. Perry trying to hold on. Stephenson will try to get it over. 7 minutes to go in the third period. Piece is over again. At home. Tries to go across again to the Vegas territory. Puck plays shot blocked. Deflected off the glass and it's now Barbashev with the puck. 6.37 left to go. Oh, big hit over there. Luchara now finds Ekholm. Ekholm again to Perry. Perry with the puck. Shoots it and saved off by the goaltender. An unbelievable moment from in between a Vegas and Edmonton. As Barber Shevel got that puck. Kane broken up the play. Young Ark's got it now. He took the crash hit in near the Vegas zone and the bench. Now back to McNabb. Big hit. Watching outside. Nugent Hopkins resets it across to Kane. He shoots it. He saves it again. Unbelievable moment for Thompson. This one never really has to prove that one feeling like Thompson's there. Now they're ready to do another face-off again. 8-7 still the score for the third. The win puts up a roof. By Cloud again to KG. KG battle along for the puck. Roo. 
Right over again, close arm shot. Skinner makes a save. Mary in a five minute mark in the period. The Golden Knights are trying to get an answer in there. Now they're ready to do an hour face off. Still an 8 7 game. Looks like they wanted to tie this up before overtime. Now the win for Rue puts again the White Cloud goes our shot. And it's cool out with the puck back again to Kane. Kane racing guitar to shoot it and the save puts it up. Hey, he trying to battle it again to Cotter. Cotter right towards the wing. Pass off to Rue. Shoots it saved by Skinner. We just made it to a five minute mark in the third period. A lot of percentage here, a lot of class going on, but there is another great choice that they can try to stop one. And as another win for Desharnias. Now find Simon. Here's Kegu. Margin salt with the puck. Can't hold on to it now as Simon will have it. 4.35 left to go. But David Shane saved by Thompson again. They're just making this one a lot cleaner. Almost made it in there, but that's going to like take a lot of time. Let's see who's the winner. I sent it over to Fan. Well, thanks, guys. I was really making this one a great chain. They're really putting it in by now. It's kind of David has a lot of wheels to put in there. They're just doing a lot of great choices out there. But that is a change-off that they really are doing it for. I was really happy enough they could try to let that go and go and buy. It's what they turn to be an excellent play of the screen. And a shot saved again. Now we will it over again to Desharnias. Desharnias with the puck and try to tie this game. This one gets in the way as now it goes back over again to Hyman. Here's Kulak. Back to Newton Hopkins shot. Lock the save again and cross him with the puck. 335 left to go in the third period. Get the puck out of here and out into Edmonton, Edmonton zone. He sure is. Now finds it again to Kulak. Kulak now finds Newton Hopkins. Trying to fly in. Over and out of Kane. It's tie in. No! Thompson saves it again. 312 to go in the third. Oh, what they do now, Thompson's just really like flying it in. And if you're all waiting for tomorrow's game, the NBA is ready for the second round as we have the mile high team of the Nuggets facing against the other team of Texas of Mavericks. That will be the first game happening here at Ball Arena at 7, at, um, at 9.30 p.m. Let's make it 8.30 p.m. We'll do that thing. Yeah, good time for all. Shot saved up again by Skinner. Pulls it back and now finds CC. Excellent make up there. When you know what Skinner was really doing it, he making this one a lot of tricky moves. This offense is not putting in a lot of good strengths in this game, but they are really have been battling it off. Nugent Hopkins trying to give off to Nurse. Nugent Hopkins lost the puck as a many and will have it again to Barbashev. Two, 15 left to go in the third period. Time ticking down with two minutes as CT will try to handle it out. The move around. Martinez trying to grab that puck away. Fires the puck out. Nurse is trying to bring your extra man on. Here's CC. CC will try to give up to Hyman and now here's McDavid. Their man advantage is underway if he misses. Saved by Thompson. Hyman with the puck. Behind the net. Merchant still has it. Here's Fedor. Back again to Martinez. Resign's got it now. Dry side will try to pull it in. Puck to steal. Connor McDavid trying to get the puck out of here. Last minute remaining in the third period. They're trying to battle it in and trying to take it out. Now that the CC and the team are bringing an extra skater on as the goaltender is off, Martinez trying to make his way through. Here's the next one for the Golden Knights. Shoot saved by Skinner! Rolls down to the end of the regulation period. 8 7 to score. While you're ready to rumble this up, they're going to make this one a lot challenging to get through it. 
The Vegas Golden Knights wins the faceoff. White Cloud shot, saved off. Man advantage is on for the Edmonton Oilers. The goaltender comes into the bench. Bring an extra skater on Barry shoots. Trying to figure it out again, but it's now Thompson with the save. Stephenson deflects it off the skater. Nurse, time is ticking down. Battle for the loose back of the chain. Kane gives the nurse. CC. Dry sidle. Losing time. Barry the shoot. And that's it. The game is over. Golden Knights advance to game seven. One last time. Back to Canada. Well, they did now. Thompson after Aiden Hill with the devastation. But he's flat now. But Thompson just did a great game. Well, what do you know? This one is a wild one. First period was a little early to start, but the second period comes back in. Well, I hope you enjoy this game right now. Test tube along with Nickel and Fan. This has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. Thanks for watching. All right, thank you guys so much. Time for three star players of the game. The third star goes to William Carlson. Five assists and four gifts. Only did once, just that. Second star goes to Shea Fido with two goals and two assists and eight gets. And your first star, Brandon Brisson. Four goals and two gets with a hat trick. A full motion offense, over around, and smoothly proved to skin. Here's how you give it the total statistics 173 for Angus Golden Knights in the total shots, 86 to 44 for Edmonton Oilers. Then 757 for Vegas over Edmonton Oilers. 92 over 87 passing for Vegas. Then it was 60 over 22 face-off wins for Vegas Golden Knights. Two-minute penalty kill was only Edmonton and no power play goal for the Golden Knights. So that was excellent now. So there are two games that's happening right now. One game for the Rangers and the Lightning and the other game, the Oilers and the Vegas Golden Knights and 930 game. Well, that's it for now. Game six is completely finished, but only two, four of each teams will be playing in game seven. First will be the Bolts and the Rangers at the Garden, and then the Oilers will return home to face against the Vegas team one last time at Rogers Place. If you enjoyed this game, don't forget, you can list it down here and watch the playlist below for the complete series of the postseason of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. You can watch it anytime. If you don't like it, you can watch the regular season of the playoffs right over here, regular season of the game, for the NHL games on EA Sports. And there's nothing that you can go with. Any team is better than that. Anyway, that's it for be doing it for today. Thank you all for tuning in, and we'll see you again for the first game of the NBA playoffs of the second round on 2K Sports. This is Terry Crews and Son of Beast. Peace out for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. Have a great night, everybody, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you don't, somebody will. See ya. Bye bye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.